What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is all about the recap of what took place last night. Wales versus South Africa in Washington DC um, when the two played a friendly game. And what an interesting game it was. Firstly, South Africa making uh, bringing in seven debutants, total different team, young team, but a team that really had the potential um, to, to do good things. Wales obviously making 13 um, changes since their Six Nations squad. So we saw different teams going out there. We saw youngsters wanting to give an opportunity to put their hand up and to make the coaches' lives a living hell by for forcing them to select them over the, the bigger or the other players. Now, for South Africa's sake, that really wasn't the case because it was a shocking, dismal, upsetting performance. They weren't the South African team we know. The players weren't shining, they weren't gelling. Um, there were silly errors that were constantly being made. There were improvements in certain aspects of the game, but overall, I'm would I, I was, when the game ended, chatting to mates, we were, we were disappointed. We I felt um, I wouldn't say let down, but irritated with the way the box played because it was just constant stupid mistakes not not oh no it's fine they made a mistake we'll forgive it. It, it it was continuous and that was kicking the flipping ball away they had the opportunity they're on their attack but then they decide to do these little tactical kicks that just don't work scrum off does these overhead kicks th that just gives the ball away and Wales run why New Zealand Island are so good at the moment is because they attack they play proper rugby they go for it they don't just kick the ball and play like I said the other day ping pong crap where they kick to the other they kick to the other they attack they go that's why Leinster are champions of Europe that's why Ireland are Six Nations champions that's why um, New Zealand are the rugby championship champions because they attack they go for their opponents and when they tactical kick they make sure they do it properly and not this whole thing where you kick it and it goes straight out or where you think it looks good and it's just a total flop Alton Yankees was poor he was shocking in my opinion yeah maybe he got it some points but he just didn't stand out I don't understand when he puts on the Lions jersey he looks not too bad and he goes for it and he makes efforts and he, and he shows why he is a talented player but as soon as the green and gold gets put on, he's like useless, if I can say that word. Um, Chili Boy Ralapele, what did he do? Um, I would have started off with other players. Um, the scrum off, I forgot his name, but he was shocking. Keep, keep on kicking the ball away when we could have actually attacked. The passing seemed too quick. They were playing too fast for themselves. Um... And yeah, it just it wasn't a game where I could where I could walk away proud. I was disappointed. I'm frustrated because there was no improvement. And I don't know about you guys, but the build up for this game was amazing. You could see the people in the streets getting ready, getting excited. That feeling of Springbok rugby is back, or was back. And we had a bra. We were building up. We were chatting. We were expecting exciting things an, an improvement from a team that's really gotten haven't done well and with the new beginning new start now i know this wasn't the full team it was a young team and all that stuff and you'll say gareth we got um, the best team coming next week against england fair enough but i wanted to see improvement i wanted to see something different within this team I wanted to see a spark. Wales were on top of us. And you know what the worst part is, guys? Wales didn't even have their proper Six Nations team. Yes, it was a low uh, points margin they beat us by. But it, was, it wasn't a great game. We had opportunities. We could have won this game. We could have attacked more. If we ran, instead of kicking, we would have got tries. Because when we did go forward, we were doing okay. Uh, credit to the other players. I thought Opa Mahajis had a, didn't have a bad game. Um, Dan Dupri or the Dupria brothers 
look good. Um, I know Robert made an error here and there, but it was good to see them. The bench definitely changed the team a bit. Um, once they came on, the Springboks looked a bit more pumped. Um, I feel sorry for Peter Stift at all. I think he had a, a solid game. And his leadership wasn't too bad, so I feel for him. It's not a, it's not a nice one to start off with. And same for us. You don't want to start your 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 career as the head coach and captain on a on a loss. Um, so that's sad. But it it was a different game. I was disappointed in the crowd. I know it was raining, but I th I would have thought, expected a bit more. Obviously, cameraman did well to show certain parts of where it was busy and you could see the atmosphere, which was electric at the time. But um, yeah, I'm not, uh, next week we got a, a lot of improve, improvement needs to happen. Um, I want to see a more solid team. Honestly, the players that he picked were good. They earned their position, and I feel for them because a lot were debutants, um, and some who played here and there. Um, but they, that team could have done something different. Um, I know a lot of people were predicting Wales by 15, so clearly they were wrong there, and some were predicting South Africa to walk over. I didn't think it would be a walkover, but I didn't expect it to be the game it was last night. To me, no difference has been made. Um, but I think, I think as we go into England, it's going to be a total change. I think if our Eddie Jones, I'd be a, be a little bit cocky and smile a bit more. Because um, I think they'll be a bit more relieved to see where South African rugby was. But um, it's over. New, new page, new leaf. Um, and I think we'll just see a different South African team going in. Russ is a clever coach. I think he's going to have a, a, a whole new system in place. As I said, we've got to, we'll have a stronger team in. And again, I'm not saying this team that we had last night was weak. There were just players for me that shouldn't have been there. And with Alton Yankees was weak. I will, I would drop him. Um, Cohen Bosch, I would have. He was quiet. I know Galant came in earlier for him. So, but yeah, it was just. One of those games. What were your thoughts in the game? What did you guys think? Did you did you see improvements, or were you disappointed like me? I saw improvements, but I, I need to see more. I need more from this team. I love this team with all my heart, and I think they have the potential to to beat England. But they need to catch a wake up. Something needs to happen. Rossi needs to give them a bit of a mindset. Second half started, I was expecting to see a different team, a different a, a way forward. I thought he would have shat all over them and the Springboks were going to come firing. They didn't, but um, as soon as the bench came on, there was a difference, but just unfortunately wasn't good enough. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video on the recap of this. Left disappointed, not a happy man at the moment, but um, I have confidence in this team that we will be better, we will bounce back, we will um, show why South African rugby is on the mend. Obviously, yesterday's game doesn't quite show that, but um, I really think we're going to see a different team next week. And I don't mean a different team as in players, obviously, but a different, a different attitude towards the game, a different way of thinking, a different way of playing. I really hope, Rossi, if you watch this, which you probably don't, but... Tell your players to stop kicking the ball away. Hold it. Run it. Think of movements to play. Think of skillful passing. Think of dummies. It's got old school. Dummy the guys. We can do it. We have the players. We just need to apply it all. And not kick the damn ball away. So that's just my thoughts. I, to end off, I think we're going we're gonna to be better next week different team, a different way, uh, attitude towards the game and I think England should be nervous because we're going to come fighting but also South Africa need to be nervous because if they continue making silly errors like last night or this morning then England are going to walk us out the park so let's hope, fingers crossed South Africa wakes up, different game, different attitude and hopefully we'll see a better improvement from 
the team we love to watch and obviously as fans around the world you guys might support them as well but let's see let's see i'm hoping for um a turnaround and that's going to do for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what did you think who was your standout who was your weakest player strongest player weakest player and what did you think of the game I've got, I've got hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm confident. I think we, I'm sure we're going to bounce back, um, but we just need to change our way of playing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you want to support my channel to help me grow and develop it, please so, um, go over to Patreon and feel free to donate some health for the channel so we can help grow it. So I can upgrade this a bit. You know. Green screen is my dream. I want to do something with that. A new camera, um, a new podcast mic, just to, to get things more professional. Obviously, I don't want this channel to be like a show where it's proper, proper. I want it to still have that fan, the fan moment, you know, the fan speaking of my thoughts of the games and all that stuff. But anyway, if you want, the link is below and I'll leave one up top to Patreon if you would like to support Walking Towards you, man. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your week. Have a great week. We've got the big games. So much is coming this week. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We have predictions for all internationals, um, especially the big games I'm going to be targeting and so much content to look forward to international season has arrived hasn't started well for a south african fan but i'm sure it's gonna end well have a great week stay safe never give up cheers